Over the next 10 years, the Greensboro, High Point, Winston-Salem area will need to add 58,000 housing units to keep up with demand. Think about that for a moment. 58. Thousand. Yeah, we know from apartment lists, half of the people looking for apartments in Greensboro alone are coming from outside the triad. Fox 8's Madison Forsey joins us with how that demand is affecting prices. Yeah, new data from Zumper shows the price of a one bedroom is up 35% from last year in Greensboro. The median price of a one bedroom, roughly $1,100, and a two bedroom is $1,200. And realtors in the area say these prices probably aren't coming down anytime soon because of how many jobs and people are coming to the triad. All you can think about is how am I going to do this? How am I going to do that? And when and it takes away, it takes a lot from you. Um, when you're constantly worrying if you're going to be able to make ends meet. Annie Almarez's number one priority is putting a roof over her five year old daughter's head. She thought she could do that at the Madison Woods Apartments in Greensboro. I wanted to stay close to my daughter's school. I wanted to, um, you know, be close, stay close to my family, and I wanted to be in a decent area. She's facing an $1,800 rent check every month. She can't find anything cheaper than $1,500 in a convenient area and doesn't qualify for government assistance. She's part of a growing group. Marvette Artists with Greensboro Regional Realtor Association is seeing who were stuck in the middle. When you're looking at renting versus purchasing, you have to consider, do I want to pay someone else's mortgage or will I be more comfortable paying my own? Even though my mortgage may be a little bit higher, than my rent. If it works, she and other realtors are encouraging people to think about buying a home with rent prices so high. We are starting to see builders coming back, you know, as the cost of construction has come down a bit. There are more communities, more apartments, more townhomes, more single family homes. This map from the city of Greensboro shows all the areas where leaders plan to build housing, hoping to add almost 7,000 homes and apartments to the area. Even with more units on the way, Annie is struggling to decide what to do next. When prices are constantly increasing, it turns out you're not being paid well. Either way that you go, it's going to be hard trying to figure out how to make it happen. The realtors that I talked to today did share the market isn't as competitive and buyers are getting more power back. They encouraged people struggling with rent payments and worried about purchasing a home to consider North Carolina's down payment assistance program. Hey, Madison, thank you.